Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain how to calculate center of gravity of a Z beam. As you can see in a diagram, we have a beam looks like a Z shape. And uh, in order to calculate center of gravity, we have to divide it into three pieces as I have divided in the drawing. So this is our shape one, this is our shape two, and this is our shape three. Okay, we have three steps to follow as usual. First of all, we will calculate area of A1, we will calculate X1, we will calculate Y1. Similarly, area 2, X2, Y2. Then area 3, X3, Y3. Okay. So, as you can see, these are all rectangle and uh, the formula of the rectangle is b multiply by d if we take this figure number one it's 20 multiply by 10 which is 200 square centimeter x bar is always a center point of the shape which is from x axis from here to there is 20 as you can see and then from here to there we have 30 again so it will be 20 plus 10 plus 10 again is going to be 40 centimeter so 20 from here to there and then 10 we have here half of 20 is 10 again so 40 centimeter and y bar is always vertical distance which is 10 divided by 2 so 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5 centimeter. Okay. Now let's move on to figure number 2. Area we will calculate. B multiplied by D. Which is 30 multiplied by 10 equal to 300 square centimeter. We have to calculate X as I have explained. We have to start counting it from origin point. From X axis line for example. So it, it will be. 20 plus 10 divided by 2 is going to be 25. Now we have to calculate y. y bar is going to be half of 30 is going to be 15. So it will be 30 divided by 2 is equal to 15 centimeter. Okay, now move on to figure number 3. Similarly, b multiplied by d is 20 multiplied by 10 is equal to 200 square centimeter we have x3 so in here our figure is connected with our x line for example from origin line so it will be 20 divided by 2 is going to be 10 centimeter and y bar is going to be 20 plus 10 divided by 2 so from here to there is 20, from here to there is 20, then we have 10 at top, 10 divided by 2. So basically from here to there is, as I have pointed my fingers, is 20, then half of 10 is 5, it is going to be 25 centimeter. Okay, now we have calculated our three areas, 3x1, sorry, 3x3 wise. Now simply we have to put this into our formula. Okay, the formula is going to be x bar is equal to a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3. Sorry. Divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3. Now we just have to put number into the formula which is 200 multiplied by 40 plus 300 multiplied by 25 then plus 200 multiplied by 10 divided by 200 plus 300 plus 200 again now the value of x bar is going to be 25 centimeter now we have to calculate y bar, y bar is going to be a1 
y1 y1 plus a2 y2 plus a3 y3 divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3 we just have to put the numbers in as usual we did it before 20 uh, 200 multiplied by 5 plus 300 multiplied by 15 plus 200 multiplied by 25 these all numbers comes from the top divided by 700 let's say 3 plus 2 500 plus 2 700 so i don't have to write all the numbers so the value for y bar is going to be 15 centimeter okay now we have calculated x bar and y bar which is let's say x bar comma y bar is equal to 25 comma 15 so it's all centimeters it means if we travel from x axis i mean from zero origin line towards x axis we have to travel 25 centimeter okay let's say which is from here to there okay i'm just going to erase this one so it's from here to there in the middle okay so this is our 25 number how do we know where we should place this point because we have to travel up i mean towards y direction 15 centimeter so 15 centimeter is from here to there okay this is a point which is called center of gravity for z beam it means on this point our beam will be in the condition of equilibrium i hope you have understood what i am trying to explain that's it for today thank you for watching my video please don't forget to subscribe my channel